Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and thanks for coming and stopping by and watching all my nonsense, right? <laughs> anyway, today we're gonna talk about life. Life? No, no, we're not talking about life. We're gonna talk about WVO, Waste Vegetable Oil. So this is gonna be part one, sourcing the oil out and cleaning it, what it takes, you know. So basically, I like the Japanese sushi places because frying tempura in a bad oil mm -mm, doesn't work. So therefore, their oil is top notch. Anyway, this is how it comes from the restaurants, you know, in cubies. And basically what I do, I let it sit for a couple of days, so it settles. And I show you why. But if you see on the bottom, right, you see that it has some kind of settlement. So now it's very important where you pour it down, I show you why. So this, I show you exactly where to stop and why and what I use you can see here I use a hundred micron 100 micron sock specially designed for the best vegetable oil and yes it's dirty my friends because this is not set up just for doing a video this is a real life it's been used for a decade over a decade and that's why it's the way it is so let me show you when I pour it down, you can see the oil, it's pretty clean, it's really nice, but we are not going to pour it all, I'm going to stop and you'll see because you're going to see a nice line, like dirty start coming, and then you stop, and we re-pour this in a bucket, let it sit, and then we can skim it again. that's it so that's the that's the bad stuff right there so we're gonna let that settle in this cube is here like I pour this down and you'll see what I mean why I stopped it you see that's the reason I stopped it so I don't want to put this into the sock because I tell you if you put that in the sock you can plug that thing up in by two cubies. I used that sock for six months before I have to change it out. So this is basically the cleaning, the processing, getting the oil, putting it in this tote. And then from here, I'm gonna pump it in. Barrel. I'll show you later. I'll take you guys with me there. I show you what it is. And from there, it's gonna get like fed to the centrifuge. Like I said, I'm pushing the oil up into that barrel, up there, and then from there it's going to be gravity fed, and I control the, the flow with this valve. From here it goes inside into a heater, and then from the heater goes into the centrifuge. This centrifuge, it's a WBO design product so this came from the states you guys can check these people out it's not a sponsored video i love their product that's why i own one i actually own two of them and then this centrifuge spins with 6000 rpm takes all the fine particles the tar everything the moisture everything out and then when this barrel is full I'm going to push it back into that big one and then that's ready to use and that oil it's better than when you buy it in the store 
very much. So that's what we do. Reuse, reduce and recycle. And that's the process. And um, stay tuned for the next video because on the next video, I will show you exactly what's in a kit and how it's going to be installed. Now, it's not every size fit uh, all vehicles, but this particular one that I'm going to show it's for an E350 either with a 7.3 diesel or with a 6 liter power stroke. Either one of them it's going to work. Now, all the other cars you can do pretty much almost the same it's just gonna use different pumps and different setups but uh, the basics are pretty much the same so thank you again guys i appreciate you and stay tuned i'll see you in the next one